What's up everyone, in today's video I wanted to share my 2015 Mr. Olympia predictions with you because a lot of you guys have been asking for my opinion and that's why I simply decided to make a video. Now, I think the title this year will go to Again, Phil Heath. Just because as you guys also know, Kai Green was banned from the competition. He won't be able to participate this year and he, he he actually isn't even allowed to enter the area of the expo. And I don't know, I mean, it, it, it's so fucked up because this year I finally, I thought, finally he's gonna make his dream come true and win the title. Because as for the pictures we saw, he was big, round, those muscle bellies, just insane and also conditioned. And the most important thing, his gut was under control. And so this year I really thought that he would get the title finally after all those years. But because he's banned, I think, and he was the top contender, Phil Heath will win again. Now, num coming in number two or second place, Big Remy. I know most of you guys w wouldn't even place him in the top six. I mean, all the predictions I saw so far, uh, most of the people aren't even placing the, him in the top six. But I think this year we will see a big surprise coming from Big Remy. Because George Farah, I think he has done his homework and he will bring him shredded. As of today, Big Remy officially weighed in at 315 or maybe even 316 pounds. This is by far the biggest and also heaviest bodybuilder we have seen so far stepping on the Olympia stage. Just to remind you guys, Ronnie Coleman and Lou Ferrigno. Lou Ferrigno came in at I think something like 300 pounds or 305 pounds and the heaviest big, uh, big Ronnie Coleman we saw was 295 pounds. But Lou Ferrigno is the tall guy. He's like 6 foot 5 inches tall and um, Ronnie Coleman is two inches taller than Big Remy and still weighs way less than Big Remy. And if you have the three categories, symmetry, conditioning and also size or muscularity, if you already own the two, so if he comes in conditioned and he is out muscling everyone, no one stands a chance next to him. So already won two out of the three categories. So if he comes in shredded, as I'm expecting to or I'm hoping to, he will be a force to reckon with. Alright guys, moving on to place number three. I think Dennis Wolf will place third place. Last year he came in shredded to the bone, I mean he was ripped to shreds, but he was also very flat. So he kind of over -dieted. But this year, the pictures I saw uh, leaking out from his camp, he's way bigger fuller and conditioned at the same time. So I think this year we will see a better package coming from Dennis Wolf. That is why I give him place number three. Coming in fourth, Sean Roden. I really like Sean Roden's physique. I mean, he's a very aesthetic guy. One of the last aesthetic guys on the Olympic stage together with Sergio McMillan and arguably also um, Dexter Jackson. But the problem with Sean Roden is that his, black, his back is, is just flat. And as you guys know, shows are won from the back. And if you don't have a Mr. Olympia worthy back, you just won't be able to get the title. His back is just simply flat. He doesn't have that 3D effect where the back is kind of coming at you. He doesn't have enough meat there. So that's why I place him fourth. Now in the next two places, 5th and 6th, I'm not quite sure how they're gonna place them. So on number 5, I would say Dexter Jackson. I place him before Branch Warren, who should place top 6. So 6th place. I don't know how they're gonna place them, because in my opinion, Branch Warren, I mean he doesn't, it's, it's just genetics, he doesn't have a pleasing physique to look at. His triceps is really lagging, his forearms, they're really bad. Then also, he has a very hard or very obvious imbal imbalance in his lats. One lat is way bigger than the other one, 
and also his legs. The right quad is, or I think it's the left quad is bigger than the right one, um, or the other way around. But just his symmetry is off and he also sucks when it comes to the front lat spread. He just doesn't know how to spread his lats. And also the rear lat spread from the back also sucks. So that's why I wouldn't place him better than Dex Jackson. But Dex Jackson has a pleasing physique to look at. Just everything flows. He has the, those nice round muscle bellies and he always comes in condition. Alright guys. So those were, were my top six predictions. Please let me know down in the comments what you think because I'm always interested in different opinions and also please try to explain why you would play someone uh, other than I did. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. German Gains, peace out.